Bless me with your wonder And hurt my future in your end So, wherever you grow That's where It's Lex. Um, it's the middle of the day. I'm getting off early today. Um, babe had an accident yesterday. So um, I apologize for the vlog going up late. Y'all know there was a YouTube outage one night. I think that was what, Tuesday night? And um, I was not about to stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning putting up no video knowing I have a full time job. So yeah video didn't go up that day it went up the went up today um it was supposed to go up yesterday but on the way home babe was walking rocky and fell in a little hole or something that they have out there i don't know what it's called but i'm going to insert a picture right here so um she fell in that and y'all know that babe just had surgery in july on her back so um i got home took pictures of the little whole thing left and went and got Jaden because he had football practice got him something to eat brought him back home and then we went to the emergency room we was in the emergency room majority of the night um I got up this morning and came to work because um I received an award today so they had a breakfast or whatever a breakfast thing for everybody that was receiving awards so i came to work today um they gave her a disc last night of her mri before she had her surgery and i guess the mri that they took last night she has what they called it an l5 pars defect i'll put it, that going across the screen because y'all didn't understand what i just said um basically that's a fracture that she has that wasn't there before so now we have to go to her neurosurgeon to give them the cd that they gave us last night um so that they can compare it and then we'll have to see um what needs to happen after that but from what i was reading basically it's gonna heal on its own she just has to rest and there's so many people telling her that she needs to take it easy, but my wife does not listen, y'all. So, um, yeah, from what I'm reading, she just needs to rest, and they'll probably give her a back brace. I'm not sure, but we'll see. You never know. You can't go by everything that you read. But I'm hoping that that is what they're going to do and not have to go back in again. Um, that first experience was traumatic. Didn't have anybody there, you know, sitting with me whatever so i don't want to go through that again so um i'm about to leave now to go get her so that we can go up here give them the disc they need go make copies of her um prescription stuff so that we can have it on file and go get her prescriptions filled so i will check back in once i get with her i just want y'all to pray for my strength y'all because my ride from where we live to my apartment complex is 13 minutes. Y'all, it took me all of 25 minutes to get home because I'm sleepy. And it seems like every time I get behind this wheel, I want to go to sleep. But yeah, um, I'm home now. I'm about to go get her so we can go and head out to drop this disc off and go get her prescriptions. So y'all pray for the wife that he does not have to go back in. She just has to take it easy. Let's pray for that. Um, oh, let me tell y'all something that I have never seen. So this is around the time that the, what is that, middle school gets out. Y'all, I ain't never seen a bus drop off a child to a Chinese restaurant. Never seen that. And the child wasn't Chinese. So, yeah. I just thought I would put that out there. Um, let me go on and get her so we can get on, get this show on the road. I'll check back in, guys. Hey, y'all. You might not be able to see me. Um, you might just be able to see my glasses because of the lights in front of me. 
Um, baby and I just got up from a nap. Um, I'm about to go get Jaden. We both got up confused like it was just like the next day. So, I'm going to get Jaden. He played JV tonight. So, I left babe home and I'm on my way to go get Jaden. Um, I will check back in with you guys in a few. So, hey guys, we're back. Um, I hadn't checked in since earlier um told you guys i was taking baby to the doctor back to her neurosurgeon girl is out of commission so the place where she had the surgery she broke that bone so um stop, stop. It's not my fault. yeah so they're gonna try her on a brace and she needs lots of rest um we're gonna pick up her prescriptions tomorrow and um they want to keep following up with her to make sure that the injury is not getting worse but getting better. This girl is in so much pain. And I got something going on because your girl is leaking urine again. We only got this one out because she has an attitude problem. So the only way we was going to be able to record for y'all is to take her out. I stepped on... Well, don't... Not yet, right? What? They told him I had already told him this morning. Oh, yeah. So, now I'm walking around with a broke back. A broken back, literally. I'm going to the doctors in the morning because I got to do more x-rays. X-rays and an MRI? An MRI because this girl is leaking again. I feel a lot of pain, a lot of pressure um, that I felt before my surgery. And it wasn't until I started until after the fall that I started feeling this pain and pressure again and the leaking of um, the peepees, the urine the leaking so just pray for me I don't want another surgery I definitely don't want it because he says that this surgery will be bigger and have a longer recovery a time. longer recovery and much bigger than my last one and I just I mean, I'm going to do whatever the doctor says. I, I am working with an amazing doctor. Um, I can tell who cares about my health. Um, they, the team cares about my health. Mm -hmm. So I am going to follow his recommendations, of course. But I'm prayerful that um, I don't have to have another surgery. I just, I'm, I mean, I'm in a lot of pain, so whatever he suggests. But, you know, I'm just hoping that is not you know what the next course of action is yeah. um it's a lot on from it's a lot on me it's definitely a lot on the wife um the kids the little children and just a lot on my marriage you know um i was on my way to recovery i wasn't expecting a fall hell i didn't even see it stormy i'm gonna put you back up I didn't even, um, I didn't even see it, but the only thing we can do is kind of just work through it, uh, work through it, um, I woke up this morning in so much pain, I couldn't even, like, get up, that's how I felt, um, because I was in so much pain, then I got a contusion on my hand and a strain on my shoulder, I'm trying to catch yourself. Cause, you know fat girl was trying to catch that fall once I was falling that's just I guess natural instinct mm -hmm. thank God Give me thank God for the uh, come on thank me you got it yeah thank God for the guy that was out there you know kudos to um, Javier Javier he said it was a hard fall he heard it and he rushed over so like she's saying um the guy Javier heard it, so y'all yeah, know it was a pretty big fall. Yeah, it is a lot. Um, it's a lot on my family. It's uh, a lot on me because um, working on trying to get back to myself, and we already have a lot going on, and I'm in a lot of pain again, and you know, it takes a lot out of just me, my wife, just my family, the boys, and, you know, basically, you know, 
for all day three that we have. Mm-hmm. I have had a call from my grandmother who's offered to come here or for me to come there, but I can't go there because Jaden's in school. Um, it's just a lot, and I'm in a lot of pain, and I'm just glad that I'm all right. You know, the prognosis seemed really bad, but, you know, God is a good God, and he can do all things. I really don't want to do another surgery. Um, you know, I just have a lot going on. Um, about to, it's about to start my doctorate's degree and some other things. And so, you know, and we're kind of just, you know, it's a lot on Alexis, I know, you know, because she's working and I'm here and trying to run me back and forth now. This is the time, like, I really wish I was um, already home. You know, they give you six to eight months for training or whatever, and then you're supposed to go home. I'm almost at my eight months now, so. And people that came in after me are already going home, so. Um, so, it's a lot in with me trying to get back and ready for work. This was just, um. Just, Hold on, y'all. Just. Let's try this again, guys. It's just a lot. Like, no one plans to fall. No one, you know, expects to fall and break their back. Mm-hmm. You know? It's in the same spot you just had surgery on, so. Yeah. And, you know, my doctor took I went to the hospital last night. And that's the same hospital who sent me over the first time for the surgery. And they told me last night that it was new. And when I went to see my neurosurgeon today, he said that it was new, that I did not have that. Um, It's from the fall. And it's just, I don't know. It's like when it rains, it pours. But I'm still trusting that God is going to bring us through and there's a reason. So they should go sit down. For um, everything. You know, um. It's hard, though. It's hard. Um, I'm very independent. So this makes me more dependent on people, and I don't like that feeling. Um, You know, it just is a whole list of things that this right here is going, you know, this is affecting. Uh, I might have to send my dogs away. So that's hard. I don't want to send my dogs away. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. So, if you all could just keep encouraging Alexis because, you know, she's going to work, she's having to help me and dealing with everything else, I'll be very grateful for that. And I will keep you all updated with everything that's going on don't only pray for me pray for her too for her recovery and i'm hoping tomorrow when i go for my mri that they don't keep me in a hospital i'm worried about that that they don't keep me in a hospital i'm just not i'm not um just not ready i'm just not prepared for that you know just keep us in your prayers. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video, guys. We'll keep you guys updated on everything. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.